Hi everyone, this is John. I'm in Anaheim. And I just stepped out for a bite to eat. I'm at this place called the Farmer's Market. Who knew Anaheim had a Farmer's Market? Well, I knew, I live around here. Uh, one thing I wanted to do is some, a little food photography. Uh, I've been trying to get that in the last year or so, get into more food photography. And uh, recently over this holiday weekend, it's just after Thanksgiving, I rented a uh, Canon uh, 35 millimeter macro lens with the idea of maybe buying it later if I like it. So I'm putting it to the test using it for food photography. So normally I try, when I go out to eat, I don't usually take my whole camera kit with me. I just try to pack light or just, sometimes I just use my phone. And it's funny, I don't want to be one of those people that's on Instagram just photographing their lunch and po posting it on there. I'm more sophisticated than that. I use an SLR. So I'm gonna head inside, try to find some place to eat. I'm not very good at picking places out, but I am getting over bronchitis, and I think I'm past the contagious part, so it's okay to step out, look for some ramen or something like that. Um, while I'm waiting for my food, I want to just talk a little bit about what I brought uh, for gear, or what I usually just carry. Um, okay, so I have my new, this 35 millimeter lens that I, I rented. I also think about buying. Um, I like it a lot. Um, I also have a Canon EOS R that I just got. Um, some places I go to, they're a little dark, so I have this little uh, LED light that I bring. It's very simple. It's stuff I can keep in my bag without being, you know, to getting too crazy. Um, sometimes if I don't have my uh, SLR, I have my phone, an iPhone. That food joint, I'll be right back. So I've got my food. Um, I got some ramen and a sushi roll. Um, you ever get food? that doesn't quite look like what you saw on the menu. Um, this looks pretty good, but usually when you compare real life to a you know, glamour photo, there's a food stylist making that food look you know, crazy, awesome, and good. Um, sometimes it's, there's not a food stylist, but the food's really good. This looks great, but the, food, the lighting here, it's actually pretty flat, um, and you got lights from different points creating shadows, and in my opinion, just not good for photography. So that's why I bring this little LED light. Let's turn it on. You know, it's pretty bright. And so it can be annoying to people around you. So I try to use it sparingly, but I use it still because I can. So here's the uh, 35 millimeter that I'm using. Here's the food, no lighting involved just the straight house lighting. And with this, you get more, I think, color, you get more detail. If you do some side lighting to get some uh, texture, make it more 3D. Here's the sushi. You can move the light however you want it. So it's pretty simple. So here's the ramen with just the regular house lighting. If I add the LED, see how we get just some nice lighting. I can change the angle if I want, just based where I am. Now I keep in mind in my surroundings, I probably look like an idiot, an idiot to most people. That's okay. Same with the sushi. Now, supposing I didn't have my uh, SLR or my mirrorless, um, what if I just had my iPhone? How does that look? Just to give you a comparison, watch this. So here's the iPhone with no additional lighting. It just, you know, it looks all right. But add a little video light and you get, I think you just get more color, more depth, um, just better texture all, all around. Same with the sushi. 
you can move it around as you wish. Again, I probably look like an idiot, but I don't care. Well, that's it for now. I'm gonna dig in. I'm gonna post a picture with the mirrorless and one with the iPhone. And you tell me which is which, which one you like better. Also, when I come to eat, I always bring a book. So I'll see you later. This is John. If you have any comments or questions, uh, leave them down below. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>